Hey guys, Chelsea from Attention to Details. I wanted to jump on real quick and share with you guys a fantastic tool, my favorite tool for cleaning door jams. I did a video a while back showing you the fastest way that I clean door jams by using Rage and a pressure washer. And I had a lot of guys, I don't know why, I think I triggered some just because they were like, no, that's such a mess. We would never do that in a million years. So I wanna share with you a safer I wouldn't say less messy because you're still introducing water to the door jams to effectively clean door jams i have to use some sort of pressured water um, you can do a rinseless wash for maintenance for cleaning you know door jams in between washes but for customers that are coming to me who have not maintained their door jams and you can see these have a lot of dirt and soil Especially with winter time coming, you want to clean your door jams and possibly even wax them, prepare them for all the salt conditions that they're going to kind of go through. But you can see these door jams have not been cleaned in a while. And even back here on the trunk, we've got a lot of just dirt, dirty water residue that's just kind of stained it. We're going to clean this up. I'm actually going to hand the camera off to Mackenzie so that I can use both of my hands, but I'm gonna quick share with you the tool and the process and how easy it is. All right, so this actually is my kid's old bottle brush. I think this is like an OXO brush uh, or even just a generic. You can see, take the bottle. I didn't use that before. And I used it for you. You can take this off and clean the nip part cool. of it. it. I have my hose, I have it on my mist setting. I'm just gonna come in here and quickly knock off loose debris. Using the mist setting is the safest way to control the water. It's not getting everywhere. I can come up here, angle it, come in real tight, knock all that down. And then I have my rage. Mix four or five to one. I just kind of dump and guess. Just going to kind of come in here and quick spray everything down. I just do short bursts around them. The, uh, where you step in, we're going to kind of come in here, and we're going to wet this. You don't even need to have a bucket, just need to have a wet brush. We're going to rinse that brush in between. The Rage acts as our soap or lubricant, but it's helping to kind of loosen up all that dirt. Come here, Kenzie, I want to show, I want you to see this. Come in right here. Can you point the camera kind of right at this space right here? Come over here. Sorry, I have to teach my camera person. What I like about this bo this bottle brush is you can get into all of these tight spaces right here very easily, especially where the hinge is. There's always that little curl that gets in there perfectly. You can get your hoses. This. You can get under the door. Especially this is the biggest area where cars are known for rust so you want to make sure you're cleaning that and then I can take the mist setting come back up here spray everything down the rage helps loosen if there's any areas that I may have missed with the brush but all right so this is probably one of the more awkward areas to clean I don't know about you guys I always feel like I make a mess so I'm just keeping my mist setting tight bring it in here just to try to loosen up any of that dirt it's kind of caked on there the rage will help loosen that up you can see we've even got a little bit of mildew growing in there so we're just gonna take our rage come in tight Fantastic road film remover, tire and wheel cleaner, engine bay cleaner. This stuff really is fantastic for exteriors. Because that's so caked on, we're going to let that sit. But what I love, I can take this brush and just kind of get in those tight spaces. I don't have to take my hand, and microfiber, and get my microfiber all cruddied up. 
This is soft enough that I am really not putting a lot of pressure. But we're getting all of that nastiness loosened up and removed. Check out that. How long would that have taken with a microfiber in my hand or a detail brush? Having to get in there. All right, now we're gonna take our hose. And we're just gonna come in here, start at the top. And just rinse it all down. Got all of that nasty mold and mildew cleaned in tight spaces. I'm gonna go over that with a microfiber, but check that out. So especially these hard to reach areas, the OXO bottle brush, fantastic door jam cleaner. We're gonna rinse him off because he looks a little, a little lonely right now, a little sad. So, I hope that helps some of you guys if you're looking for a cheap, effective tool. Even if you're a mom or dad and you've got an old bottle brush laying around, it's a fantastic door jam brush. You can also use it for engine bays to kind of get into tighter areas. But I'm going to put the link down below for you guys to pick it up off of Amazon. The OXO bottle brush, fantastic door jam cleaner or a door jam brush. You can see this is already dried. What a fantastic job it did. Like I said, getting into some of those tighter spaces. You can see we didn't scratch the finish more than, you know, a typical microfiber with all that soil would have. It's a safe, quick way to clean door jams. So thanks you guys for watching. We'll catch you in the next video.